Armed with a stack of petitions, Marie Lowry is asking for signatures from registered voters who support reproductive freedom for all. The ability to control your body is absolutely the most fundamental right there is. If you can't control your body, you can't control any part of your life. Lowry volunteering for the ACLU ballot initiative, the first in the nation that would amend a state constitution to guarantee the right to abortion. We are seeing a groundswell of support. In just this past week, we have seen 30,000 folks across Michigan raise their hand and say that they want to take action to defend and protect reproductive freedom here in Michigan. Jessica Ayub says since the draft of the Supreme Court decision that would overturn Roe v. Wade was leaked to the press, tens of thousands of people have volunteered to circulate petitions. The effort needs 425,059 signatures from registered voters in Michigan by July 11th to appear on the November ballot. Lawsuits are also seeking to keep a 1931 Michigan law from going into effect that would ban abortion, even in cases of rape and incest, and prosecute doctors and nurses who perform the procedure. Abortion is health care, and we believe, as Reproductive Freedom for All, that health care decisions should be made between a doctor and the person, um, the pregnant person. Fox News reports a new poll shows a majority of Americans, 57 percent, favor preserving Roe. Even though polling suggests a majority of people support the right to an abortion, anti-abortion advocates say they don't think the support is there. The majority of people may believe that abortion should be legal to a certain extent, but the extreme abortion agenda that we are seeing played out around the country and what Roe versus Wade gave us, abortion on demand throughout all nine months of pregnancy for any reason, is not a popular opinion held by most people. Right now in Michigan, abortion is legal up to 24 weeks of pregnancy, and the ballot initiative would allow the state to prohibit abortion after fetal viability unless needed to protect a patient's life. We know that most people are behind this. Most people agree with it. It's just a matter of getting those signatures. Supporters cannot sign the petition online. They must sign an actual paper copy. For more information, log on to myreprofreedom.org. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.